everybody. Welcome back to La Vida Pasta. I'm Justin Barker, aka Big Chef 51. I'm your host. Today's a fun day. We're going to make a little seafood dish. Uh, you've heard of grouper piccata. Well, grouper, for those of you playing along at home, is about $27 a pound right now, unless you happen to live in Florida and go off coast fishing and catch one. Well, I didn't catch one today. So I went to Publix and I went to my fishmonger and I asked, hey, what's good today? And he's like, Justin, the cod here is so good. It's so fresh. So I said, you know what? We're going to make a, a cod piccata. I love cod. Cod is delicious. Big, thick, white, flaky fish. So what you look at here are some of the ingredients you're going to need today. Uh, cod, look, look at the size of this cod. Just giant, right? Thick, that's about an inch and a half thick. Uh, three pieces like that and a small piece. Obviously, we're going to have to cook that one um, shorter. And then other things we're going to need today are some butter. This is Kerrygold. It's an Irish butter. You're going to need some fresh Italian parsley. This is flat leaf parsley that I cut up. I just chopped finely. You're going to need a whole lemon. And you're going to need some capers. Capers are a little, basically a pea-sized, little tiny vegetable feeling thing that is salty and delicious when it's cooked in this style of food. Uh, you're going to need a little olive oil, which I've already got on the oven cooking uh, and heating up. You're gonna need a glass of wine, which I have done. So this is a, you know, I love Zinfandels from Lodi, California, Northern California area. Lodi, for whatever reason, the Zinfandels that come out of there are delicious. Bramblewood is about a, I don't know, $15 bottle of wine. So for those of you who don't wanna spend a lot of money on wine, you don't need to spend a lot of money on wine. This happens to be a pretty tasty little glass of wine. So let's just enjoy and connect the palate to the brain. Ooh, cherry. Oh my gosh, there's like black, black raspberry, black cherry in there, like a currant. Mm, peppers, all kinds of cool stuff in there. Good little flavor for the glass of wine today. So while we're cooking, we're gonna enjoy that. Uh, we've already got the oven going at 400 degrees. So what we're gonna do the step by step. Very, very simply is we're gonna we're gonna pat we're gonna flour. Pat down, flour the fish, all right? That's the first thing. Then we're gonna um, put it in the uh, olive oil and let it brown. Once it's done, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna throw it in the oven for about eight minutes. We'll finish prepping the sauce. And I'll walk you through the whole thing. So when we come back, what you're gonna see is um, an amazingly uh, easy process to make some delicious fish, okay? Be right back, see you in a minute. Okay, so we got our olive oil on about six and we took our fresh fish and we just laid it in um, away from you obviously so it doesn't burn. Um, I've since added a little butter because I just love the creaminess of butter. And what's happening right now is we want this fish to turn nice and brown on both sides. Now, look, these three pieces are the same thickness. This piece is a different thickness. So I'm gonna have to flip this much earlier than I am these three, which also means I'm gonna um, have to remove this much earlier than the other three. So what's gonna happen here is if you come over here, you can look down in that corner, you can see how it's starting to cook down there and turning white. That tells you that the fish is cooking, that's perfect, that's what we want. So this little tiny small piece here, we're gonna flip, oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, ready? Oh yeah. It's a thin piece, so it takes just literally a minute on each side. These are gonna take about two and a half minutes on each side, and we're gonna flip them, we're gonna take them off, and we're gonna let them warm in the oven and finish off. So when we come back, what you're gonna see is from the searing of the fish to the throwing it in the oven real quick at about 400 or 450, depending on you know how, you, how much time you have. I like 400, and uh, when we're done, you're gonna see me make a sauce for the fish. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we just flipped the fish. Now take a look down here. You can see that the fish has a little bit of a white color. Kind of look up in the light right there. A white color about a third of the way through, and then it's still really pale. That means the fish is only cooking the edges, which is fine, that's what we want. We want the fish to cook to about here, then we wanna flip it, and we want the fish to cook to about there, and the middle will still be uncooked. Guys, that is okay. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the fish in a, um, a dish that can handle the oven heat. 
and then we're gonna make our sauce. So when we come back, we're gonna make our sauce. See you in a minute. Okay, so we just took the fish out of the oil and put it in a pan, uh, a little dish here to go in the oven. We're at 400 degrees. We're gonna throw it in for about six or eight minutes. Now, here's what's gonna happen. We gotta make our sauce, right? So let's take a little bit of the olive oil that's in there. We're gonna add, actually let's remove it from the heat for just a second. We're gonna add a little bit of white wine and butter. Now this is a little Pinot Grigio. We're gonna add, it's gonna cool down. About a cup of that. I'm gonna add some butter. That's about three tablespoons of butter. Put it back on the heat. Now we're gonna add our parsley. So I took about four tablespoons of parsley and we're gonna add our capers. There you go, capers. I just sprinkled about 20 or 30 capers in there. What's gonna happen is this is gonna start thickening up. Get back up a little bit. And then you'll notice we got some fresh lemons. I'm gonna take some lemons and throw them in there as well. I just took three because what's gonna happen is we're gonna add the fish back into this after six minutes. So we're keeping it on six. We're gonna stir, we're gonna move all those flavors around. You can, now here's where you add, if you like a little kick to things, this is where you add your crushed red pepper. Uh, you, this is where you add your extra pepper or salt. Uh, we don't cook with a lot of salt in this house unless we have to. In this situation, it could probably use a little salt and pepper because all I did was season the flour. So we'll add a little bit of, a little pinch of salt and pepper into the mix, a little seasoning. Can never go wrong there. Now you see it bubbling. Look at, look at it bubbling. Keep your eye on that. And what I'm gonna do, start stirring. See the capers in there, look at that. It's coming together. And what's gonna happen, look, oh, smell that. Just smell, smell that. Come, come down, camera guy. Get, get away, don't, don't burn my camera. Put okay. your nose in it, not the camera. Oh, mm. Okay, now look at me. So what's gonna happen is, we're gonna take the fish out in just a couple minutes. We're gonna throw the fish back in here, and what's gonna happen, it's gonna thicken up even more. And you're gonna get this incredible sauce over the top of that fish. When I come back, let's put it all together and have a taste test. Let's see you in a little side dish real quick, okay? Come on over here. This is a diced potato side dish. Now, what you have here are golden miniature potatoes. They're about that big around, maybe to that big when they're in like an oblong shape. I dice them so you can see what size they are. And I added a little bit of chopped white onion, paprika, garlic, uh, just garlic powder, salt and pepper a little olive oil and you, once you put it all in a little dish, you mix it. You just keep flipping it, flipping it, flipping it, flip it. And you can see all these different things happening in there. A little paprika, a little rosemary, actually I add a little rosemary to it, salt and pepper. So when you do that, throw it in with your food for about 30 minutes and it becomes the ultimate side dish. So you're really getting a bonus dish tonight, um, a little side dish action and uh, I actually have one more in store. So I'll see you back in a minute and we'll show you the third side dish. All right, so I told you we're gonna do a bonus third side dish tonight. This is a yellow squash. And what I did was coated them in olive oil, salt and pepper, and I threw them right on the grill. So look at this. Oh my gosh, they're crisping up nice with that. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be so good. This is just a grilled vegetable heaven with all these different flavors. This takes about seven or eight minutes to cook. But when you're done, what you get is the most succulent flavor. So again, I, all I did was cut my, my yellow squash um, in half and then I quartered it. I a little olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and then threw it on the grill for about seven minutes, eight minutes max, and it's done. So um, I'll show you the complete meal here in just a minute. We'll be back. Okay, so I'm taking the fish out of the oven after about seven minutes. And look at that, it's, it's like literally 99.9% .9 of the way cooked. So what we're gonna do is transfer it back into, oh my Lord. The sauce. Oh, the smells, Tristan, are just killing me right now. I'm hungry. This will make you starving. So what's gonna happen is, look, look at this beautiful white wine. Now this is where your fish really starts to dance. 
and it becomes part and just, oh, just totally part of that meal. And of course, when you look over here, we took our zucchini, fresh zucchini off the grill and I added a little fresh parsley on top of that. So that's about ready. So taste test is in literally, just keep splashing that around a little bit over, you know, keep, keep uh, basting the um, sauce over the fish. And when we're done, we're gonna have the most incredible meal. You're not even gonna believe it. So we'll be right hey, back. everybody, now is the time. We are absolutely at bingo time. Now look, look at the dish. We're gonna take a little bit of our leftover. Parsley. Flat leaf parsley, a couple of lemons, lay them in. And, but look at that dish. That is right out of the cookbook. It is perfection. Folks, you are absolutely gonna love this dish. I promise you. So let's take a fork and have a moment to do the taste test. This is Justin's Chef, Big Chef 51. This happens to be cod, but it's a, a grouper piccata. Mmm, 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 mmm. Flavor is incredible. Let's try the potato. Oh. Mm. How about the, the um, yellow squash? Oh my lord. Oh, guys, listen to me. The capers come through with the saltiness on top of the fish, which with this beautiful light white wine, this butter. There's a lot of flavor going on here. You can do this, it's 15 minutes. Anybody can do this. What I want you to do, like, share, subscribe, have fun. God bless you guys, I love you. Stay safe during this COVID time and uh, don't forget to thank your heroes, doctors, nurses, med techs, anybody on the front lines and all of our uh, first responders. So thank you guys. See you next time on La Vida Pasta.